Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Now let's jump in and see what these cards have to say today. Hey, hey, Taurus, what's going on? It's Dana. How's the bull tribe rolling these days? How's it going for you, Taurus? Hope everything is doing well. I cannot complain over on this side. I'm just uh, kicking it on a Saturday night. Was supposed to go do stuff, but uh, I'm an introvert and I just don't want to, so I'm not going to. I'm not going to. It's the anniversary of my YouTube channel today, so I thought maybe I would go ahead and throw out a reading for the Bull Tribe because more than 70% of my subscription base is Taurus. I'm sorry, Pisces, but that's the truth. That's the way it is. That's just a straight up the way it is. So in honor of my birthday <laughs> here on YouTube, I am going to uh, put a reading out for Taurus because Taurus was the foundation of this channel and Taurus is the majority of the subscribers. So let's see what these have to say. Let's see what they have to say. All right, Taurus, give me a chance to channel, get myself together here, and we'll throw out a message. Spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus here with me. Spirit in Taurus wants to know what you know. What do you know about the Taurus? And what does the Taurus need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their futures? Spirit, what's... All right, we're going to do something different because I just feel like it. I just feel like I need to do it this way. We are going to only look at the major arcana, okay? I'm just going to collect all these cards back up. Temperance. Star in reverse. Collect all those cards back up. And then let me go through this. Judgment, Strength in Reverse, Wheel in Reverse, the Sun, the Hermit, the Devil in Reverse, the Chariot, the World, the Lovers in Reverse, the Emperor, and then we have the Hierophant, the Fool in Reverse, the Tower in Reverse, the Moon, the High Priestess, and the Hangman in Reverse. Okay. All right. So these are all in the whole deck, okay, right? I shuffled the whole deck, and this is the order that the Major Arcana presented themselves in the deck that I shuffled. All right. So let's talk about this, okay? So the major arcana are the life lessons. They're all of the lessons that we all need to learn over and over and over again, usually in order to grow our soul, in order to have a good life, in order to do a good job while we're here doing all of this stuff, okay? All right, so Justice in Reverse is the first card out. It sets the tone for everything. It is about an injustice, an injustice, a lack of accountability. Spirit, what is this Justice in Reverse? What is this? What is Justice in Reverse? What is it? The Ten of Swords, okay? So uh, grief, sorrow, pain, endings, and ending in your mind. The Four of Pentacles in reverse about um, instability or insecurity of some sort. Interesting. Can you tell me to the Three of Swords about grief and sorrow and pain that you are carrying in your mind? The Alchemist. The Magician. The Magician. Yeah, it's it's fogging your ability to manifest. Okay, right? They need some room. They need some room. All 
All right, Taurus. All right, all right. This is what's going on. A couple of things you need to know about me before I jump in here, okay? I have been told I have a propensity to be inappropriate. So if any kind of inappropriate or irreverent behavior offends you, this is not the place that you want to be. I also very well may swear and I may or may not blow my vape smoke in the camera. If any of this bothers you in any way whatsoever, this neighborhood is too rough for you and you need to go on down the road a little bit okay if you're late to the show what I did was I shoveled and prayed like I always do and then I pulled all of the major arcana out um, of the the deck in the order that they presented themselves I pulled them out of the deck and we're starting from the first one and going all the way through all of the major arcana the way that they arrange themselves in your cards so we are reading major arcana why are we doing that well I just feel like being a little freaky and the major arcana are all of the life lessons that we need to pay attention to so I figured that uh, this might be a fun way to see what it is that the universe is trying to tell you all right all right so first lesson out is justice in reverse you're not conquering this lesson it's lesson 11 okay you're not you're not making your way through it you're you're stuck on 11 okay you're just stuck on 11 why because you are perpetrating an injustice in your life by manifesting something into your life that isn't in your best and highest good okay i don't think you've manifested it yet but i think you're manifesting it and this card is telling you on a superficial level that this situation that we're about to talk about is an injustice to your path your purpose and your life but you are also perpetrating an injustice why i asked what the root of it was the seven of cups seven of cups is wishful thinking okay so someone out there is about to engage in a situation that isn't in their best and highest good but there might be ignoring their intuition and doing it anyway okay wishful thinking the ten of swords there is some kind of defeat associated with this when I first laid this card down I picked up backstabbed okay but um, there's some kind of defeat associated with it. The four of Pentacles in reverse comes on top of this and talks about two things. It's self-protection for you, protect yourself. But the other aspect of this is greed, okay? So something is, there's going to be a defeat, again, backstabbed because somebody in this situation is greedy somehow. Whether it's in their money, their finances, their time, their emotions, their attention, um, their sense of well-being, somehow, some way, somebody's greedy to the three of swords and it's going to cause you a lot of grief hence the nine of swords it's going to cause you a lot of grief it's an injustice stop manifesting it what's the problem here well the alchemist manifestation you are manifesting this because of the wishful thinking right you're manifesting this into your life because of wishful thinking when the alchemist in fact as your lesson being i want to point out lesson number one right back to the top because as we finish this reading buzzkill we we kind of get and we kind of end with the world card oh here it is is right here okay the world card right you guys can't see it but it's down here okay so the world ending of a cycle back to the top right the alchemist and we're going to tell you how you get there all through here right all of this tells you how you get here which takes you here manifestation be very careful what you think about because what you think about becomes your reality and if you are manifesting this by ruminating ruminating on it in your mind then you are creating it in your reality be careful be careful what you manifest because you're manifesting something that isn't um, a good thing for you 
the Three of Pentacles, what are you manifesting? Some kind of teamwork and collaboration, some kind of building, maybe negotiating or, or, or a contract of some, some sort. You're manifesting teamwork and collaboration. And the Eight of Wands in reverse comes on top of this saying, hold off, hold off, stop manifesting this, be careful what you're manifesting, hold off death in reverse. There needs to be an internal rebalancing, okay? An internal rebalancing. This card is also a card about resistance to change. So what this tells me is that this wishful thinking over here that isn't in your best interest tells me that this situation is something that you don't want to change. So you are maybe agreeing to something Thing because you don't want your inside or outside world to change. But there needs to be a purging, an inner purging temperance to bring yourself into a place of peace, into a place of temperance, peace in the mind, peace in the emotions, peace in the in the desires and the in the ambitions, peace in the sense of well-being. Temperance represents all four elements of the human nature, the mind, the emotions, the sense of well-being, and the desires. They need you to temper yourself. Nine of swords in reverse, because this is going to be a painful lesson for you. I mean, they're kind of warning you here, really. Whatever this is, is going to be a painful lesson for you. The four of wands to the eight of wands. Make a change in a different direction to protect or procure your safety and your well-being. Long term, being a four. The star in reverse. This is not purposeful for your path or your purpose. The seven of wands. Um, it's, it's about defending yourself. To the ten of wands, which is about burden and struggle. Burden, struggle, defending yourself, protecting yourself. Protect yourself from this struggle because it's not even purposeful. Why would you even engage with it when the universe is saying this is not where you're supposed to be? It's not what you're supposed to be doing. I mean, I don't know. The Wheel of Fortune, a turning point. Okay, um, there is a turning point coming, and I think what this turning point is talking about is don't sell yourself short with, with wishful thinking and get yourself into a bad situation out of some kind of desperation, for sure. The universe wants to divinely orchestrate the steps of your path. All of these cards are trying to set you up to step into a turning point in your life, to step into the path and the purpose to the five of wands in reverse. But you need to have an increased focus on your goals and stop avoiding the responsibility of what? Of not being accountable for your journey because you're obviously going against something internal that wants you to go in a different direction. But it's, it's like you don't want things to change so you're just gonna go along with something maybe? Huh? judgment. A conscious cognitive decision. This is about truth. Truth, truth, truth. It's lesson 20, which comes right before 21, which takes you right back up to the alchemist again. Okay? So what do we have to do in judgment to get us to the world card? Well, we have to bring an absolution to a situation by seeing and calling the truth. Mm -hmm. It's drawing a line in the sand and saying this all stops here today right now. To justice in the upright. See, this truth, this, this big, huge discernment right here flips this justice in reverse in the upright and brings justice into your life. It's truth, it's honest, it's fair, and it's always in your best and highest good. It brings accountability to the situation, your accountability. Strength in reverse. The weakness in the whole situation with your wishful thinking, the weakness in, in you 
two of swords in reverse is that you don't have all the information that you need to make a good decision. It's like you're making a decision just simply so things will stay the same, but you don't see you don't see what's 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 coming. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords says, make some real serious, sharp decisions in your life. It's time for you to put up that sword and be extremely perceptive. Extremely perceptive, stern, flexible, but definitely factual and logical. Intellectual truth, justice, make a decision in your life that this, that you aren't prepared to make this decision. Eight of Pentacles. And work on and compound the lessons that you have learned from this situation. Look to the Page of Wands. I think there's a, a, a different offer that's coming into you. Uh huh. I think it's a different offer. And also with the Two of Cups in reverse, right? Stop, stop wanting it. The Page of Wands is enthusiasm, excitement, exploration, discovery, being all giddy about something. Stop wanting it because it's not a viable relationship. Work, career, family, money, whatever. It's buying a dog, okay? It's not a viable relationship. If you, speaking of dog, I adopted this gigantic German Shepherd a couple of weeks ago. And if you all hear her over there on that bone, um, I apologize. But I can't lock her out of my office because um, it just breaks her heart. So, all right. The wheel in reverse in the center of the reading. This is the blockage. The, 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 you remember the wheel up here wants to take you somewhere. The wheel in reverse says we can't intervene in your free will. If you engage in this situation that is going against something that you know in your guts. If you engage in this situation, then we just have to be on standby. We just have to bring everything to a screeching halt and maybe someday you'll come back around and spin it in the upright. The tower. Why is it a blockage? Because the situation is going to implode on you and the universe is not going to help you out in that matter. They're just not. The chariot in reverse, universal opposition. They don't want you to go and they are definitely not going. To the sun happiness, success, vitality. They want you to see very clearly that the path to happiness, success, and vitality in your life is the death card. Bringing this all to an end. Bringing it to an absolute ending so you can set loose this wheel of fortune up here. The hermit. They want to sit down with you. They want to have a conversation. They want to sit down with you. They want to have a conversation. They want you to do some very deep soul searching and introspection. Knight of Cups about this opportunity. The King of Wands to the Queen of Wands. Two things here. Will this opportunity put you in a position of security, control, and power in your own life? Will this situation feed your desires, your inspirations, your aspirations? Can you succeed and achieve in this situation? That's what the Hermit wants to do some soul searching with you about. The other aspect of this is the King and Queen of Wands and the Knight of Cups. This is the offer, right? There is an offer from two people, possibly business, possibly, uh, well, okay, so the Queen of Wands is fire, right? So that's going to be any kind of inspirational kind of stuff. And the King of Pentacles is um, earth, so that's going to be your sense of well-being, okay? So this offer that's coming to you appeals to both your sense of well-being and also appeals to your desire for achievement and success. Okay, And the Hermit wants to have a sit down with you to talk about this. To talk about this a lot. What are you going to talk about in the Hermit energy? Well, the Devil in Reverse. What's Devil in Reverse about? It's about releasing your limiting beliefs. 
Releasing your limiting beliefs. The devil in the upright is an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. In the reverse, the devil is about detaching yourself from that restriction, identifying that restriction, and detaching yourself from it. What is it? Well, the Ace of Cups in reverse. Repressed emotions, hurt feelings, a loss of emotional growth of some way, of somehow. What, what is that? Well, that's this up here right? This is the wishful thinking part of it. In your emotions, you don't want to let go of this situation. Release your limiting beliefs because with the Ace of Cups in reverse, it's emotionally inviolable. Okay? It's, it's, it's not, it's, it's not doable, whatever the situation is. Chariot. Lesson seven, reflection, assessment, taking a step back, putting in the self-control, the willpower, and the determination to do what it is that you need to do. Eight of Pentacles, to work your way out of this situation, stand on your own two feet and do not engage to the world. This will close out an existing standing cycle of your life and take you right back up to the top again so you can begin to manifest in the direction of your best and highest is good. An ending, a change, a complete and total shift in your current phase of life. This is about critical self-analysis. What's the critical self-analysis? Well, the lover's in reverse. Taking a step back and looking at this whole situation and understanding that this is not divinely orchestrated into your life and it is unviable to the aid of cups and walk away from it. Walk away from it. Totally walk away from it. The Emperor, you, taking control of your life, taking control of the situation, taking control of your path, your purpose, and taking um, accountability for following where your guts are telling you to go. To the Ace of Swords and understanding that you don't have enough information. You don't have enough understanding about how this is going to turn out because it's, 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 it's not telling us how it's going to turn out. It's just telling us that it's not going to turn out. And you don't have enough information to make a true, real, good decision about this whole thing. You're just agreeing to something so something won't change. To the hangman, take a step back, reevaluate the whole damn situation, and come out on the other side with a new perspective. What's the new perspective? Well, the hierophant in the upright. This commitment that you're going to make, this contract that you're going to sign, this relationship that you're going to get into, this job that you're going to take, whatever this is for you. If these were your own cards, I would be able to tell you, but I don't know who this is for. Okay, the Hierophant, this obligation that you are about to agree to, the Hierophant in reverse, don't. Cut loose of ties, commitments, and obligations to this whole situation. The Fool in reverse, because it's foolishness. It is foolishness, and it is not the direction that you need to go. It's not the direction you need to go. The fool is zero, right? It's going to come above the alchemist. What direction do they, what do they want you to go? They want you to close all of this out. See it for what it is. Stop ignoring you, where your soul is trying to lead you out of some kind of human-based fear that something is going to change. And don't agree to something just because you don't want it to change, okay? Cut loose of the ties, commitments, obligations. It's foolishness, the two of wands in reverse, and it's not for your future. It's not for your future. It's not for your future. Oops, the star comes back here. The tower in reverse, avert disaster. Stand up, brush yourself off from the crumbling of this situation. Do not agree and do not engage. Do not agree, do not engage. Avert disaster to the moon. The proverbial struggle of the human being. Constantly and always the struggle between that which we know to be true and that which we do not want to accept as the truth. Mm -hmm. What you don't want to accept as the truth, six of wands in reverse, is going to bring you a whole bunch of hurt. It's going to bring you a whole bunch of hurt. 
to the moon again, second time. A whole bunch of hurt. The struggle, you know, you know the truth in your guts, but out of fear, you are making a decision that is going to be detrimental. The high priestess, follow your intuition. Follow it, follow it, follow your intuition. It will point you in the direction of your best and highest good. It is your soul speaking to your consciousness, trying to point you towards your true north. Listen to it, to the hangman, and stop being here. Stop being being here. Make a decision that you're not going to engage because it's not in your best interest. And quite frankly, I don't think you want to do this, but you're doing it anyway. Take a step back, reevaluate the situation and cut yourself loose from the tree with a new perspective. Three of Pentacles to the star. Teamwork, collaboration, purpose and path. There is better for you. There is better for you. There is a better person. There is a better job. There's a better situation. There's a better opportunity. There's a better dog. Okay? There is better for you. Whatever this is, is not in your best interest, Taurus. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. I hope that helps someone. Namaste.